Hey guys, Auspicious Aussie here, and welcome to episode 24 of the San Marino Challenge. Now guys, as you can see, league table, we have won Group B in Lega Pro. Seriously, we've done it, we've made, well, we've made my dreams come true, we've gotten promoted, and we're going to Serie B. It has happened. Uh, we did finish out the season pretty strong. Um, I actually... I think I won the league with two games to spare. So last game before I started this episode. And of course, uh, today's game as well against Rieti. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but we're going to play a strong lineup, you know, nonetheless. Just to, to finish off the season strong. Um, I would like to get the win today and get over 80 points. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. We've done. We've also done the double this season because we won the cup, the Coppa Italia, uh, Lega Pro. So, yeah, I mean, this season started off really badly. Um, we'll, we'll just take a little look back. Uh, the form was very choppy. You know, a draw, a loss, a win, a loss, a draw, a win, a draw, a win, a loss. You know, a win, a loss. It was very, very choppy, especially with that new tactic that I used at the start. However, we we turned things around. I found a, a much better tactic that suited the team and uh, definitely played to our strengths as opposed to the other tactic that while it was very you know a very strong attacking tactic, it definitely had its uh what would you call it frailties at the back. But yeah, um, as you can see, we'll do a bit of a end of season review at the end after the game. Uh, but we'll go over the most recent fixtures. Not too many to go over. Uh, we've only got the two games. The first of which was a 1-0 victory over AC Siena. Away from home. Uh, Ingoglia coming up with the goal there. Um, he did start at right back. So again, another pretty impressive performance from him just filling in there. Where, To be honest, he, he can't play there properly. But he does perform way better than, you know, you, you would kind of expect a centre-back that isn't even trained as a right-back. So, yeah, full credit to him. Came up with a goal. Got us the three points there, which did actually seal the league. So, yeah, very impressive. And the most recent game I played against Albino Lefe was a nil-all draw at home. Pellini got sent off with a straight red card. So, once again, the red card was not my fault. It was a straight red. Otherwise, I would have told him to ease off like I did for all the other players. Um, another thing worth noting, we actually broke the record for worst discipline in the league, which was already our record from last season. So, yeah, proud moments, proud moments. Um, so, yeah, that does leave us with Rieti today. Like I mentioned, the game doesn't mean anything. We're already promoted. Uh, as far as the, actually, before we get into that, I'll show you the budget. As you can see, well, the finances were in a hundred and sorry, we're one hundred seventy-four thousand in the red, which is horrendous. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get a, you know a decent amount of sponsorship and TV money going into Sierra B. Uh, another thing I have to note is we will actually lose four hundred fifty thousand at the end of the season after this game due to our player payouts for winning the league, so do I regret giving them the medium bonus as opposed to, you know, 200000 less? Sure, I regret it. But if I had done that, who knows if we actually would have won the league. It could have affected their morale and stuff like that. I don't know. It would have been nice to save an extra 200000 going to Serie B, but ultimately, I accomplished the goal. And we'll we'll just we'll take it for what it is, and we'll move forward. Uh, but as you can see, we have got a, a you know a little bit of a transfer budget, one hundred and eighty nine thousand. Um, we've also got a forty two thousand wage budget. As you can see, currently we're spending just over twenty three thousand, and it's going to go up a little bit because we've got a few players already signed to contracts for next season. So yeah, it's going to go up to twenty about twenty five, realistically. So we have a lot of a lot of movement in there. What's that? Twenty-five. 
yeah, about 17k in wages to to spread out over if, you know, hopefully a few players that are going to be Serie B quality. Uh, as far as the projection goes, it's 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 looking a lot better. It is 174k. I believe that was what 600, 800 maybe at the start of the season. So yeah, we've done well to get it back to where it is. Um, albeit it's going to, you know, it's going to take another nice little dive probably after this game. Anyways, today's lineup for our game against Rieti away from home. San Georgian goals, and the whole lineup has screwed up there. San Georgian goals are going to go with Diodario at right back. Mercy and Orsi as the two center backs. Belfasti as our left back. Uh, Toscano, of course, comes in for Pelini, who's suspended as the defensive midfielder. Going to go Fabinho as uh, Chester's. He's just starting to recover from that four-month injury, so that's really good. Uh, but he'll start. Um, he's he's played pretty well. He's definitely he stepped up. Uh, I think he's what 31, 32 years old now. Yeah, 31. He definitely stepped up. Um, because he was pretty dreadful at the start of the season. And as you can see, you know, he's, uh, where, I hate it when it does that. As you can see, five goals, 7.13 going into this game. He's chipped in a little bit. He definitely has. Uh, then we've got Ambro and Gasperi as the two center mids. And we're going to go with Kelly as our left winger. Um, up front, we're going to go with Soleri. Uh, I did rest him last game, um, which might be one of the reasons why. We didn't manage to score in that one. Uh, the bench today is going to be Buscarini, Molna, Trillo, Tessetto, Cirillo, Forte, Krasniki, and Raza. As I mentioned, you know, I want to get over 80 points. So I think a win today takes us over uh, that sort of standing. Would have been nice to already be there. Well, yeah, I guess we would if we if, if we won the last game. We would actually be on 80 points, so it is what it is. Hopefully we'll be able to beat Rieti and sort of end the Serious C journey. Well, hopefully. Hopefully we don't get relegated next season. Uh, but end that journey uh, nice and smoothly with a nice little win. And we've already got two players on the yellow cards, so I'm going to have to tell these two to ease off their tackles because, you know, game management and all that type of stuff. And we do have a, a highlight here. But it is for Rieti. They've got a nice little kit there. Oh, Fabinho steals it. Fabinho. And he misses. And he misses. <laughs> um, I thought he might have scored there. It's just a... Oh, Solaris picked up a yellow card as well. Come on, mate. What are you doing? Yeah, I thought he might have actually just, you know, snuck that in the, the bottom right corner. I mean, I can't really criticize him too much. He's not that good, and he's quite old, so... Fair play to him. Uh, we do steal the ball away here through Ambro. Moves it inside. Ambro again. Crosses it. Far post. Kelly picks it up. Soleri. Soleri misses. I don't know. I kind of expected him to, to score that going into halftime. He's on a 6.4. Pretty, pretty bad. Um, yeah, far from pleased with what the the teams put out in that first half. To be honest, what two, two chances really, and both were kind of pathetic. Definitely, they need to do yeah need to be way more clinical. Um, all right, we're gonna well, actually we'll see how this highlight plays out, and then we'll make a sub. If we score, I'll keep them on. If we don't. Some yeah, someone's coming off. Soleri scores. I was about to take him off. I was literally in the process of taking him off. And he comes up with the goal. He's cheeky. He's definitely cheeky. 6.4 has gone up to a 7 with that goal. Over a 7 now. Alright, let's bring a few players on. Who needs to come on? Um, let's go Cirillo. Probably be his last game for the club. Uh, we'll send him off nicely. Um, who else? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Forte. Yeah, we'll go Forte. 
Yeah, we'll just bring those two on. No, oh, it's just kind of with a free kick. Keeper saves it. Spills it, but saves it. As we're sort of approaching full time here. Uh, they haven't had a shot on target, which is nice to see. Although, thought he was going to give away a red card then. I thought Mercy was about to give away a red card. He sort of dove in. Soleri, Ambro. Good save by their keeper. Good ball movement, though, by our boys. Nice and impressive. San Giorgi with a goal kick. And that's full time. And we do manage to get the victory here today. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Soleri, you know, he got his goal. He came up, you know, when I needed him to. Literally just before I was taking him off. And, yeah, we end our Series C campaign, our Liga Pro journey, off with a win. Uh, we also get 134000 for finishing in first. That's the only pro, uh, prize money that gets awarded. You have to win to get prize money. That's pretty crazy. Uh, in, in, yeah, interestingly enough, Medina get a playoff spot, which is... Yeah, uh, that's weird because 11th. Why does 11th get a playoff spot now? Last season, it was only top 10. Might have something to do with the other... Yeah, I don't know. Would it have something to do with other groups? Probably not. And then two teams have been relegated. I think that's because... I think there's some really weird rule where if you don't... Yeah, I don't know. If you don't win enough games or something, you get relegated. Yeah, if eight points separate so-and-so. Really weird. Anyway. And I guess, yeah, 2nd to 11th do qualify for the playoffs. So, yeah. I mean, the finances are back up a little bit before they get hit again. Anyways, let's go through the... Well, a bit of a... A bit of a review of our players. Now, that's really interesting. Zortia, who's been out injured for months and months. Like, he had a season-ending injury. He has the joint highest rating in the team on a 7.55 in 17 games, uh, along with Ambro, who's got the same rating, um, but Ambro played really well with nine goals and 14 assists. That's, yeah, very, very impressive from him. Full credit. Uh, slightly behind them is Chester, who got a 7.54. Um, same amount of games started as Ambro. And he got 12 goals, 14 assists. Considering he was that injured, that's, that's a pretty good return. I'm happy with that. Uh, behind them is Cali, who, to be honest, I didn't really rate, but he has scored a lot of goals this season. He's got a 7.4 average rating for the season. 36 starts, which is a lot. Um, but he did chip in with 15 goals. And nine assists. So, really good return from him. Uh, going down, we've got the two, you know, starting fullbacks. We've got Belfasti on a 7.34. Four goals, six assists for him. Um, and then we've got Diodario, of course, the really the only San Maranese player that we have in the team that actually starts games um, at this, you know, sort of stage in the series. And he got a 7.3. And he's really not that good. He's the backup right back. And, um, yeah, he just started 23 games. Seven sub appearances because of Zortia's injury as well. And, yeah, one goal, one assist for him. He's been solid. He's been solid. Uh, new signing this season, of course, in Goglia. Didn't really play too much at the start of the season. As you can see, only 14 starts. Three sub appearances. I think that was because he couldn't be registered until January. Uh, but once we got him registered, he's played really well as sort of the backup centre back slash backup right back. You know, he's been called upon and he's played. He's done well, as I've mentioned. Seven point two five for him. Uh, going down, we've got the backup left back Trillo with a seven point two three, two goals and two assists for him. Uh, we then got our two starting centre backs, Mercy and Orsi, who are uh, joint. You know, but between them, they've got pretty good average ratings. With Mercy on a seven point two three and Orsi with a seven point nineteen, good stuff for there. 
Um, we then got Soleri, the starting striker. 35 starts, 9 sub-appearances, 7.17 average rating for the season. And of course, he scored 22 goals. Very impressive outlay. Definitely one of the reasons as to why we are getting promoted. He's also got 4 assists. You know, to, not too bad, but you know, you might expect your deep-lying forward striker to chip in with a few more assists there. Uh, just under him is Gasperi, of course, one of the players that you know, starts at the club. He's, you know, been on this whole journey with us, along with Polini. 7.16 for him, 41 starts, 2 sub-appearances, 6 goals, 13 assists for him as the box-to-box midfielder. Really, really, you know, impressive stuff. Um, and then, as I mentioned, Fabinho, the last player we'll go over, 7.14 for the season. 15 starts, 11 sub-appearances, 5 goals and 4 assists. He's definitely, he definitely, as I mentioned before, he stepped up with Chester's injury. And I think he's part of the reason as to why we had such a good run towards the end of the season. You know, he very easily could have just bombed and gotten, you know, 6.5, 6.6s which was essentially what was happening to him at the start of the season. So, yeah, fair play to him. Well done, the uh, the 31-year-old. Um, he will actually be at the club for next season. He's on a lot of wages, actually. I didn't realize um, just, how bad, just how bad that was. Uh, we might try and get rid of him, actually, because I think that £925 per week wage could be used a lot better um, than on a fairly average useless player. Uh, But yeah, I think that's pretty much going to wrap the episode up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is, what, our fourth season? You know, every two seasons we seem to get, you know, getting promoted, which is good. Hopefully another two seasons we'll get promoted to Serie A. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Um, We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, thank you for watching. Drop Drop a like on the video. Subscribe as well if you aren't already. And apart from that, goodbye.